Hi, YouTubers. All right, today we have something a little different. I'm getting centered because it's just like blank space over here. It's really interesting. Um, we have a box opening, and well, I was going to record it, but then the camera decided not to work. So, <laughs> technology, I love you. Not yet. All right. This was the box. Whoop de doo. And I was I was gonna say yay bubble wrap, but no, it's the stupid new stuff that has the little chambers that transfer to each other. It's stupid, stupid, not bubble wrap anymore. I can't just keep bubble wrap. All right, and. I was looking around trying to find something to open the box with, and lo and behold, I can't find a single one of my pocket knives anywhere. They're probably in a drawer, like over there, or over there, or back there. But I just didn't feel like going through it. And then I looked up on the wall, and lo and behold, there's a knife hanging on the wall that I haven't actually ever used. And graphic gave it to me. It tends to give me a lot of stuff. It's a Allen and Son Sheffield, England, uh, with a Deerfoot handle. It's, it's old, but I it's probably not worth that much, and the bug sort of got to the foot, so it's a little bit holy. I'm not. I was going to make some sort of bow down before the knife joke. Yeah, if you don't hear that. All right. What did I get? What did I get? That's the important thing. What did I get? All right. Least and least exciting things to most exciting things. Oh, first off, there. That's that there is where I got the stuff from. I know the Dagners have a thing against five cent cigars, but I don't really know why. I don't much care. It's it's cheap. They're reliable. Treated me good. All right, things. Dill's pipe cleaners, same company that made the JD Dill cut plug that I showed you in another video, and they're the oldest existing pipe tobacco related company that doesn't actually make pipe tobacco anymore, or I just think at all. But they do apparently make good pipe cleaners, and they were it was like a buck and change, so why not? All right. They threw in some matches by the looks of it. White tips? Why the hell's that white tip? Oh well. Alright. What did I get? Now we're on to the interesting stuff. Tobacco. Smokes. Alright. No. Cigarettes are nasty. I don't do cigarettes. Don't ask. I won't do it. I might do snuff at some point. I have never tried it. And I, I won't do chew. It's, eh. I've seen pictures of what happens to your jaw just sort of falling off. I don't, I don't want that. But pipe tobacco isn't good for you either. Neither are cigars, which are the two things I like. But, oh well, they're nice. I only smoke them like once a day, maybe three times a week. And it relaxes me. And I can, I can go without. I just... I can. All right. First thing. Hearth and Home Virginia Spice. This is. Uh -huh. Get back here. Virginia Perique and Cigar Leaf. This is the first thing I've ever had that has cigar leaf in it, and it's rattling around in there. It sounds a little dry. Could just be me. Should be interesting. Heard good things about it. I think it had a four star review on tobaccoreview.com. Nothing I buy has anything less than a three star review because if I see a two star review, I'm like, eh, doesn't sound good. If so many people have had a bad experience with it. Why bother? All right, next thing Obsidian. All right, this is, I think, just. Oh, no, it's not just anything. It's Virginia, Latakia, Cavendish, and Perique. So, and I've heard good things about this. I actually had someone recommend it to me. And I had trouble finding anything with with Perican, Perican in around here. 
and so I want to try that. All right, last two things. This one is oh, camera's up there. Eggnog. It sounds sort of goofy, but sometimes goofy things are turns out are really good. It is a bite-free blend that will please anyone in the room. Well, it's eggnog. Duh. Let the rum, vanilla, and cinnamon, and nutmeg bring the holidays to you all year long. I love eggnog, so I'm looking forward to this. But I'm also sort of nervous, because I don't really know if it's going to be any good. We'll find out. Might have to do a review on it. Alright, last but not least, CAO Eileen's Dream. Now this is something I've been looking forward to for a while because I like Bailey's Irish Cream, but not not a lot of it. This sounds really good. Irish Cream and White Chocolate Truffles. Oh, that just sounds good. So we'll have to do a review on those. And on a little side note, I haven't had that much experience with decent tobaccos because there aren't that many shops around here that sell them. But the things I have tried, I've had some cigars from Nat Sherman's, which were, one of them tasted like a, a stick of butter, which was good, but not a repeat experience. The other one was an, a Maduro Angler, that's what it was called, and it was, it was, it was pretty good, but it was kind of on the small side. But the piped, I like pipe tobaccos, they tend to be more safe across the field, they're a little more friendly to the people around you. And the two, th two tin tobaccos that I bought are Peterson's Irish Whiskey, which I, I like. This is actually really very good, even though if you smoke anything more than a, a small bowl of it, or more than one bowl, it will knock you flat. One bowl of it is enough to get you, ah, I feel nice, but two bowls of it and you're... So long, good night. Alright, and the other one is Plum Cake. This one, I don't really know what to think of it. It's it's good, but I'm not going to buy another tin of it. So, if anyone who I know ends up smoking a pipe, I might give this to them or just smoke it over a long period of time. Because even though I've had this since like... January, it's, I've, I've barely even scratched the surface, there's, but boy, does it smell good. See, there's not much out of it yet, and I find if you try to smoke it in a really big bowl, it just ends up being scorching hot, but in a small bowl is really all you want of it, because it's really, really, really kicky in flavor. And it, but it bites a little bit, so. Alright, that'll be, that'll be it for this video. And I think the next one may be me reviewing one of these. These many, many things that I've bought. And I do have some Mississippi River on back order. So that ought to be coming my way soon. Alright, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, click below, down here, somewhere, I don't really know, because the camera is inverted. Alright, thank you. See ya.